two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No more. Welcome to G5 Jeff TV. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the share button as you come on in. Big shout out to the sponsors of the channel, my boy Fast Classic. This mixtape is in the description box. It is absolutely free. Definitely give him a download, give him a listen. And my boy Matt, definitely check his apparel out on IG at We All From. Now, in a mild upset, as far as I'm concerned, Jeff Horn gets upset in his home country by Michael Zarafa. And he got stopped on top of that. Got knocked down in the second round. Got knocked down and stopped in the ninth round. And the reason I'm going to say that it was an upset is because whenever a guy has the next fight scheduled, <laughs> like they're fully expected to win this fight. And Jeff Horn had a fight set up with Ryota Murata, who has a middleweight belt. And they had it already set in stone. He was going to go to Ryota Murata's home country. And that was going to be the next fight. And Jeff Horn, me personally, Jeff Horn ain't good enough to be setting up future fights and ain't get ahead of what was in front of him. And this is what happens when a guy gets a victory over a legend. I mean, you can ride it out for damn near the rest of your career. And Jeff Horn got a victory over Manny Pacquiao. And still to this day, I don't care who it is. I know my sports is listening. We can go back and forth on this to the day we both gone. Ain't no way in hell Jeff Horn beat Manny Pacquiao. But the judges seen it that way. And Jeff Horn been riding that train ever since. And as he should. He should have. But not that long ago, he was asking for a rematch with Manny Pacquiao. He fought a fight at 154 pounds, and then he moved up to 160. Like, like I always say, like, there's weight classes for a reason. Like, Michael Zarafa, I mean, it was a bad combination of overlooking a guy, then you're going up in weight, and then you got the hometown distractions because you're fighting in your home country. Like, you have to have a certain level of skill to overcome all of those things. And Jeff Horn is not skilled. Like, he's rough and rugged, but Jeff Horn is not skilled. So, the fact that he had a whole nother fight lined up after this fight is absolutely crazy to me. Now, I probably would not have said he would have got upset prior to the fight. So, you know, this is not a hindsight 2020 type thing, but... I just, I don't think highly of Jeff Horn as a fighter. I don't think he's that great of a fighter. And some people do have a high level of regard for him because he beat Manny Pacquiao, but I don't. Like, I just watched that fight not that long ago, and I I still don't see how he won the fight. But in this day and age with boxing, when you take a loss, all it takes is for you to get another victory against somebody with a name and they'll put you right back in the spot where you were uh look at the guy he was getting ready to fight uh Ryota Murata he lost his belt and then he got it right back and he's right back in position like he's right back in position for what would have been a Jeff Horn fight he might get a Gennady Golovkin fight like a loss doesn't mean that much these days um, than it did, I would say, maybe five years ago or a little bit longer. So boxing is starting to change a little bit as far as that, you know, career being over if you take one L. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section. G5 Jeff TV, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Please share this video, support your boy. Support good content at all times. I appreciate y'all. Peace.